Hello, my name is Dr. Colin Crosby. I'm the medical director of the Department of Sport and Exercise Medicine at the Garden Hospital in North London. And we've just established a wonderful new treatment at the garden called a cryotherapy pod. And this is the first time in the UK to have a pod of this nature in a hospital setting. A very cold chamber which can be used to treat a variety of problems, particularly related to inflammation and pain. The use of cold has been around from prehistorical times. The ancient Egyptians used it, and the, even Hippocrates, uh, the father of medicine, used cold to help injuries and inflammation and swelling, and as an adjunct to physical therapy. In more modern days, physiotherapists have been using cold ice packs and the like to treat a variety of injuries for many years. However, the use of a whole body pod is relatively new. For the last 30 years, particularly in Eastern Europe, in Germany, Poland, Russia, this sort of treatment has been very well established to use it for uh, injuries and problems such as arthritis, rheumatoid disease, fibromyalgia. And more recently again, and particularly of interest to me, is the use in uh, soft tissue injuries after sport injuries and after uh, problems related to activity. There are many things that it has been used for. The evidence is very good for the chronic inflammatory conditions and it's beginning to be better for the, the more soft tissue conditions. We're finding particular interest in things like uh, tendon disease, ligament tears, muscle tears, uh, injuries around the joints, uh, swellings and hematomas, over bruises around the, the limbs, problems with the, uh, where the bone uh, joins the muscles. Uh, all these sort of areas are very common to have injuries in sport and we normally treat with standard physiotherapy. But we're finding that the cryotherapy pod can improve the uh, recovery really quite considerably. We find people are using less of anti-inflammatory material, uh, not using as many tablets. And in conjunction with physiotherapy, we're getting people back to playing sport much earlier than we used to. How it works isn't entirely certain. Uh, there's certainly good evidence that it tends to stabilize some of the damaged uh, membranes in the cells of the muscles and tendons. And the chemicals that are released in terms of inflammation are reduced very much so after a session in cryotherapy pod. The chemicals such as endorphins, the feel-good factor, go up very much, as does adrenaline. So you get the stress response, which makes people feel much more comfortable and less pain. What we try to do with this sort of treatment is to have a few minutes, up to two minutes, three minutes, in the pod, which is quite cold. It gets down to minus 80, 90 degrees, so uh, very cold, but it's dry, and it doesn't feel as bad as it would be if on a cold day uh, outside on the heath. And people come out and then have the physical therapy. We find the swelling goes down quite markedly. We find that the muscle flexibility increases, muscle strength increases, range of motion increases, so people can tolerate a bigger workload. Particular interest uh, in the last World Cup with the rugby was how the Welsh rugby team used the cryotherapy to improve their ability to train harder. They would do a training session, then go in the, in the pod, then do another t intense training session, and then go in the pod, and sometimes even three a day. And their increased fitness and uh, ability to perform on the pitch was enormously improved by this. There are some things that you've got to be careful with. We don't like to use uh, cryotherapy with people who've got heart disease, very high blood pressure, angina, any rhythm problems in the heart. Also, people have got problems with the thyroid gland or if they're uh, asthmatic. Obviously, if you've got an open wound or you're claustrophobic, this is not a good idea for the pod. But in fact, it's tolerated by a huge range of people of all ages. And we're finding it very effective at treating a wide variety of conditions. And I think it's a very exciting new development that we've got at the Garden Hospital.